Alright, so first off, screw airplanes, dude. I'm just joking. I'm just saying that because, like, I'm leaving to Florida and I'm going to an airport. And, dude, I don't know about y'all, but I hate airports. Like, I mean, I hate flying. Like, I don't like flying. In, like, literally less than, like, 10 hours. We're in 10 hours. I'm going to be on a plane to Disney World. Um, with my family. I haven't gone on a plane in like years like it's been forever and I'm just not too fond of planes Honestly, like I just feel like it's just not a good idea to be on planes. We're literally flying a bus Or if we're flying a bus in the air What happens if a hawk just flies into the engine or into like one of the what that, do we just die? Do, does the engine just explode? I feel like every time we go to the airport We're just signing ourselves up to potentially plummet into a desert or water and just die. And every time you sit down, you just have to pray that... Hello? I'm leaving to Disney World. All right, well, I just canceled plans on somebody. <laughs> All right, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, foot fetishes. Wait, sorry, wrong conversation. Um, airplanes. Literally, when you sit down, you just have to pray that you don't sit next to a 300-pound dude or like a crying baby or a, a scorpion supposedly since scorpions are just falling into people's laps at the airplanes you also have to pray that you don't get dragged off by the security and my flight's at 5 in the morning I'm already ready to get yelled at at 2 o'clock a.m. that I'm not in the car already because supposedly you have to go to airports freaking 10 hours before we literally go early just so the freaking clerk or whatever her name is just can be there for like oh I'm sorry I don't see your tickets on the dude just freaking ring up my tickets Put my bag into the little thing so they can just throw it on the cart and just let me go. Why does it take so long? Could have been in bed this whole time. The restrooms are like two feet big. Like, thanks, dude. I can practically just get in the restroom and I just have to stand like this the whole time while I'm taking a piss. How do people have sex in the restroom in airplanes? They're literally so small. How do y'all fit? It must be cool to join the Mile High Club, but like, I practically have to shit sideways with my leg like on top of the other because you gave me two feet of room. I don't know, dude. You have to pray that you don't sit in front of a kid that's just kicking your seat. And I know that's like a cliche thing, but I've literally sat in front of somebody that kicks my seat. It was a little kid, and I swear I did not want to sock a kid in the face so bad. All I gotta say is he's lucky he was only like four years old. If the air marshal decides to pull out his gun and shoot it for some reason, and it hits a window and puts a hole through it, that's it. It's gonna open up more, it's gonna get sucked, it's gonna just suck us out, and that's it. We don't have an Iron Man to save us this time. Look, okay, I do appreciate planes, because they get us where we need to get way faster than driving. But it's just, dude, they suck sometimes. Like, in a little capsule in the sky with like a hundred different people that I don't even know. I once sat next to a guy that was just continuously sneezing the whole flight. Like, I thought I was gonna get off the plane with the freaking flu. You just never know who you sit next to and you just have to hope that it's not a 300 pound man and it's like a hot girl or something. Or like a celebrity. Dude, imagine you're sitting next to a celebrity. If I sat next to a celebrity, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be the annoying passenger and I would be bombarding them with questions, unless it's like, John Cryer. I don't, what would I ask him? Like, what, what do you ask him? I, how is that? I feel like he would be the one asking me questions. I feel like I would just tell him, like, dude, can you just, like, give me Charlie Sheen's number so I could talk to him? <laughs> and look, I'm all for security. Like, check every bag, check everything. Good, do it. Make, safe as possible. I agree with that. But I don't know what it is. But every time I go through the security thing, if I, even if I don't have anything on me, I don't know why I'm always so scared to put my bag through the thing and just walk through that thing. I don't know why I'm so scared that like it's just gonna go off and I'm just gonna get like tackled or tased or something like but I don't know dude planes suck we're like one bird in the engine away from freaking plummeting to the ground and one wrong seat placement away from getting yanked out of the plane but yes wish me luck uh, when I go to Florida I'll probably vlog and do a little funny uh, fun cool vlog for y'all um, uh, but yeah thank y'all for watching by the time you're watching this I'll probably be in Florida vlogging and stuff living it up rub it in y'all's faces <laughs> I could be editing this right now, sitting next to a crying baby that just needs to shut up, or fucking Jessica Alba. Like, I, it could be anything. But yes, thank y'all for watching. Comment whatever you like, like if you want, and um, just remember the golden phrase. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. But thank y'all for watching. It's your boy Matt, and I'm out.